Now that we have an idea of what databases are and some of the basic concepts around them, where do you go from here? That's the topic for a final nugget. I get asked the question of where do I begin in the world of databases all the time? And my answer is always the same. I tell people if you're not quite sure what you want to become in the database world, just start learning SQL. You can't go wrong because every single role uses the structured query language in some way. During your learning journey through the language of SQL, you'll quickly discover where your passion in databases lie. Another thing I tell beginners, especially those with absolutely no SQL language experience, is to start here. Become a DBA. It's far less SQL intensive, it still pays incredibly well, and you'll pick up SQL along the way. You'll learn about all the tools, the components, and how to do things graphically using the interface, and then eventually how to automate it using SQL. After you've mastered the DBA role, then you can reevaluate yourself and potentially transition into these more SQL intensive roles. Another decision you'll need to make is which relational database management platform you will want to learn. SQL Server is the big one and leading the way. There are jobs everywhere in every city for SQL Server. So that's one I always highly advise folks because it's just well established. Oracle is another one that is very, very good and extremely popular. And if you wanna start out really light and basic, Microsoft Access is a great place to start. You really can't go wrong with any three of these. Another great tip for choosing an RDBMS is to look at the job listings in your area. That will give you an indication of which RDBMS is the most popular based on what jobs are available. And of course, don't forget about CBT Nuggets. We provide training for all of this stuff. We cover a good majority of SQL Server exams and certifications, as well as Oracle's exam and certifications. Plus we provide virtual labs to go along with our courses, which means you don't need to worry about installing, running, and hosting these database management systems on your own hardware. In this CBT Nugget, we provided you with some tips for beginning and continuing your journey in the world of database management systems. Thanks for joining us. Good luck. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.